Hey guys, I'm Kristen. Thanks for joining me. Let's discuss how to make your home a little bit smarter by syncing your Philips Hue light bulbs with Amazon Alexa and IFTTT triggers. That's if this, then that. I'm even going to show you how to set up weather-related triggers for your lights as well as time-related triggers. Now you're going to need a few things to get started. Amazon Alexa, Philips Hue light bulbs, the Philips Hue Bridge, and an IFTTT.com account, which is absolutely free, so you're all set. One thing I highly recommend is selecting the Philips Hue light bulbs that are color enabled. So for example, this is the white and color ambiance bulb. This means I have way more freedom to be creative and to set different scenes and moods within my household. Make sure you get one of the bulbs that has color on it. Now, as I mentioned, you're going to need the Philips Hue light bridge. You're going to connect it to your Wi-Fi router directly, and then it can sync with all of the devices it's able to pair with on your network. It can sync with up to 50 devices and light bulbs, so you should be good to go. Once that's plugged in, you can also download the Philips Hue application on your smartphone, so you can set scenes and turn lights on and off from your phone. But, as I mentioned, you can also now sync it with Amazon Alexa, so you don't even have to get up or have your phone in your hand. You can just say, Alexa, turn on bedroom lights as you enter the room without flipping a switch or worrying about turning them off when you're ready to go to bed. I can sync my bedroom lights to 15% if I just want to read for a little bit and not worry about bright lights as I'm trying to settle in and get ready for bed. The Philips Hue app and its pairing with Amazon Alexa will also give you the ability to group lights together. So instead of turning on or off every individual light, you can set rooms as groups and turn off an entire room if you have more than one light in there at one time. Or you can dim all of the lights or energize all of the lights in one room. If you're in the office and you're preparing for a big meeting, you can set your lights to energize or to focus and it'll help you really get in the zone a little more than relaxed lights or dimmed lights would. Now, IFTTT.com is where all of your weather and time-related triggers are gonna come into play. So as I mentioned, it's a free website. You don't have to worry about paying to use it, and there are thousands of applets to choose from. You're going to want the Philips Hue applet, so go ahead and search in your browser, and you'll see where you can set up time and weather related triggers. IFTTT -T -T actually uses the Weather Underground API so that it knows the exact time and weather in your specific location. So for example, if there is snow or ice in the forecast near my home, my lights automatically turn to blue. I didn't even have to turn on the TV, and I know that there's an update that I should probably stay home tomorrow, or at least load up on milk and bread. <laughs> now this is great, especially when you're going out of town. If you don't want people to know that you're not home, you can set automatic lighting triggers. So your lights are still turning off and on as if someone's here, and there's no one that knows that you're not in here actually turning all the lights on and off. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to set up smart lights in your home. Remember to subscribe and leave me any questions or comments below. See you next time.